is going to be a follow-up video to our Rigify Relink Constraints video we did a while back for the UE to Rigify uh, workflow. So at the time we were exploring how to rebuild a Maya rig so that we have these cloth bones and everything moves around as expected. And at the time we used, uh, let me make sure we use the right mannequin. Edit my rig. So at the time we set up these bones where we're using a mix of um, a rig bone and a control. So the rig bone is what's going to kind of automate and follow along with the legs. And if we look in pose mode, you can see it's got a an armature constraint and we're using the raw copy and relink constraints functionality. The child bone is this bone and it's using super copy and it's got um, a control to build. So it's gonna follow along with whatever this, this top bone does and then we can retarget it the way we need it to. It doesn't have any constraints on it. This constraint is re remapping. And so we're gonna use this information to help uh, for a question we got, which is if I have a control object, I want the control object to get the constraint how can I remap it? And there's not really a way we know of to remap to a control that's being built um, by SuperCopy. So if we grab SuperCopy and this control that it generates, there's not a way from the meta rig to map a constraint to that object directly, since that's usually what gets animated. In this case, they have a rig where they want it to follow along at 50%, and so the control that's getting animated needs to have the rig. There's two ways to start to look at how to fix this. In newer Rigify, there's a rig script that runs as a post build operation. And you, if you are good at Python and you want to script up adding constraints, you can do that through a script in the scene and then run that script. In this case, we're going to do this by hand and I'll show you in the example file that they were using. Okay, so this is the example file they sent. And you can see that this is the meta rig and this is the behavior they want so that they can actually grab this and keyframe it. And you can see it's got a constraint on it. And their attempt to use the super copy is creating um, a system that is offset from the rig. So we're gonna go ahead and remove super copy. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this pose to create transform all. And I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this bone and rebuild the rig component as if Rigify was building it. So I'll go to edit mode and I'm going to turn off deform for this bone and I'm going to duplicate it and uh, scale it down a little bit. Okay, so this, this new bone in the meta rig is going to become our uh, def bone or deformation. And then instead of mouth root, it's going to be a child of the actual control that we're building. You don't have to do this, you can do a constraint, but I'm just gonna make it a child to make it simple. And then in pose mode, I'm going to make sure that we remove the constraint on it because we duplicated it. Okay, so now we have the hierarchy, we have the control that's gonna get built, and then we have the deformation bone that's gonna follow along with the control. And this, uh, sorry, this control bone has the constraint on it that we want to use, and it has the influence of 0.5%. We're going to switch over and give it a rigify type of just raw copy, and turn off relink constraints. And then under widget, because we've already built the rigify rig once, there is a set of widgets in here, and I'm just going to set it to diamond, which is what the other control rig super copy is using to build for these bones. So we basically just said, we're setting the constraints up on the control, we're building the control bone, and letting it just copy directly into the final rig from the meta. And then its child bone is the deformation bone, and we're building that by hand, and we're going to use a raw copy as well, and no relink constraints, and no widget type. It's just going to be a straight raw copy. This is now ready to go, and we can build the Rigify rig. And if we jump over to our rig and show the, the deformation bones, you, 
can now see and let's go ahead and hide our source rule. Okay, so now this side we can see the new behavior. The deformation bone follows along, the control moves the deformation bone and it is also being controlled by the constraint. This side has the old system where it created the rig and you can see that the the bone for deformation is sitting between the two, but the, um, the control is offset. So this was the behavior they wanted, so that the deformation bone stayed exactly where the you know, upper lip was or whatever they're rigging. And the only way that you, know, you can do this directly from the meta rig is to basically build a duplicate of what the um, super copy is doing for you. So it creates the original bone and then a depth bone and constrains everything and you know you can do the same kind of operation here we didn't completely match exactly what was being duplicated you can but in this case I just wanted to show that the the actual control rig can come straight in with raw copy and then you can parent or switch out or remap the deformation bone if you need to um, and again the other option is to use a post build script in the Rigify system to basically switch out constraints. So I hope that helps uh, understand a few more options to customize the rig, and thank you very much.